Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here, coming at you with another TTM Mail Week recap episode. This is actually going to be for the last two weeks of mail. Um, just last week I just did not feel like filming a video and uh, just let it pile up. So I've actually been saving many of the envelopes, I haven't even opened them yet, so we'll go ahead and do something special and just open them all up today. Um, I did not go get the mail yet today for Saturday. Um, my informed delivery did show there was one. Uh, I don't think it's here yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and film the video early just because we're going to, uh, I'm going to be busier early this afternoon, so I probably won't have time to do, get this video ready. So, without any more further ado, let's go ahead and, uh, as uh, Johnny Serena puts it, uh, show the good, the bad, the ugly, and the stupid. So, uh, first we'll start with the bad, or really more in my case, the stupid. So, I, I sent the wrong photos to Miss Anita Wood. Um, this is not of her. She, uh, Anita Wood was a uh, former girlfriend of Elvis Presley. And yeah, I did not, I picked the wrong photo, so. Um, definitely uh, Bing and Google need to, though, fix their <laughs> tag system. And I should have, those are not them. So I messed up there. And then I sent uh, to Susie Favor. Um, Olympic athlete as well as a uh, she competes in a lot of marathons came back return to sender um, if you're not familiar with her there she is Susie Favor so I uh, was hoping that would come back successful which is weird I just saw success from here so I guess that was just moved same as for this actress, Patricia Tolman. She also just moved as well. Um, let me show you the photo so you know who we're talking about here. There we go, there's Patricia Tolman. So, I guess we'll have to look for a new address on that one. There's no forwarding address to use. But uh, here's the successes from last week. I sent a couple photos, one I printed and one I ordered. It says actor Patrick Cronin. Uh, surprisingly, I couldn't find too many photos of him. Uh, and he's been in lots of things, so it's kind of weird. But uh, got him to sign a couple there. Uh, this is an older request. Um, to be quite honest, I don't remember all the things that she was in, but this is Miss Linda Haynes, who signed some photos for Autographs for a Cure. And this one. And she did uh, sign the RSVP card and said it was okay to send more. In the future, so thank you, Miss Haynes. I'll make sure to get those off the of Michael. His, uh, I'm going to be getting his package here pretty soon. I just I need to make sure I get Bruce's package out as well as some other folks you know, for the contest, which I did ship a few out of those. Uh, but I just I need to go to the store and pick up some more eight by ten size envelopes to finish out uh, sending the rest. And I also need some more people's addresses, uh, like Steely Mike, uh, since he won the mystery box. Uh, I need to, his address. I don't think he's emailed me yet. And I have my paper here actually. Uh, four leaf cards, I think, is still decided on his prize there. Uh, I have Adam Jackson's. Um, I think that's it. Yep. So I just need Steely Mike's address to send his mystery box out. Um, then this one's come back from the UK. This is an actor slash uh, comedian. This is Miss Diane Morgan. Was also another one for autographs for a cure. So she signed three photos. Here's one as well. And she included a nice little note, so that's always cool when they actually read your letter. Uh, she says, Hi Caleb, thanks so much for your lovely letter. I've enclosed your photos signed, and with you all the luck in the world. Best wishes, Diane Morgan. So, very cool. And Duke's here in the room with me, so you can probably hear him. So we got those there. 
And I also, I won a contest from DeLong Shot Signatures. Um, definitely make sure to put a link down below uh, to his channel. Um, he recreated his channel, so he's trying to regrow again. So definitely if you used to follow him uh, in the past, and love for you to go check out his new stuff again. Uh, I'll try and either pin a uh, comment, I'll maybe put one of the cards up in one of the corners, as well as uh, down in the description for you to go check his channel out. So um, it was for his NASCAR contest, and I won uh, a Joey Logano autograph. And he snuck in a couple more things. <laughs> he snuck in this uh, Stan Musial for the Hall of Fame baseball card collection. A Peyton Manning and Demarius Thomas uh, combo card. A John Elway that I don't have. And a Cortland Sutton rookie card. So a nice shine. So pretty cool. So thank you, Landon, for those extras. And he also included a note, but I'll go ahead and won't read that on camera. So that was a nice surprise there. Uh, then I got my shuffle trades in. I don't know who this is coming from. They did not include notes. It might actually just be from uh, shuffle trades, um, aka Zane Savage himself. This is Olaf Kolzig. And I think I sent a Boston Bruins hockey autograph, so I got a hockey pack. So that's a pretty nice one to get back. Um, I'll also put a link and a, hopefully a card. Uh, to Shuffle Trades website if you want to give that a shout as well. I've been doing that for the past few months. Then uh, I don't I don't think I showed this already, but I got another World War II uh, autograph from uh, Scott Masters. Uh, he interviewed this gentleman. This is Mr. Mark Gleason. So he was able to get him to sign. And I figure, you know, let's go ahead and read his bio here. Um, there's also a nice little note from him as well. But uh, Mark Leeson was born May 11, 1927 in Kokomo, Indiana. Though he grew up largely in the Pittsburgh area where his father worked for PPG after his return from the Great War. So that would be World War I. Uh, Mark grew up in the 30s against the backdrop of the Great Depression, but still enjoyed the typical American adolescence of the time. By the time World War II began, Mark was in high school, and he remembers growing during the war, dealing with the restrictions and following the news of the war. Mark turned 18 as the war was winding down, and by the time his notice came, he had decided to join the Merchant Marine. He went off to training at Sheepsteads Bay in Brooklyn, and while he was learning the basics of seamanship and preparing to go for radio training, the atomic bombs were dropped on Japan, bringing the war to an end. Mark's training ended there, and he was assigned to a ship out of Boston and to the post-war convoy in the Pacific. He journeyed to New Orleans and through the Panama Canal to the Philippines with a stop at Morotai in the Dutch East Indies. They brought goods to Manila, and while, they, while there they witnessed the New Year's celebration that ushered in 1946. By this time, the decision had been made to transfer Mark's ship to the Japanese, and it was used to re uh, repatriate the, man the many Japanese soldiers still stationed in Southeast Asia. Mark himself spent some time in Yokohama before being sent back to the U.S., where he ended his Merchant Navy days and rejoined the civilian population, getting married and raising his family. He has also continued to campaign for veterans' benefits for the American merchant seamen of World War II, who were not recognized for their contributions. Again, there's Mr. Mark Leeson, so pretty cool. Pretty awesome, so thank you again, Scott. Also, again, also a link to Scott um, down below as well, and as well as the Veterans Breakfast Club, in case you guys want to hop on and potentially meet some of the World War II veterans and speak with them and ask some questions, and other veterans from other wars. So that's a pretty cool one there. Um, next up... I got a, I'm not going to read it on camera, so it has some personal stuff, but I got a nice uh, letter from Miss uh, Wilma Briggs, who is an All-American Girls baseball player. Um, I had sent her um, some custom baseball cards, so if you guys want to get one of those, definitely go right to her. She'll be including those. I sent her a pack of 100 uh, that I made on tops for her. Um, previously, I made her some photos, so... Um, she just said that she was, uh, her surgery 
was all done and uh, she was recovering and I was just having some difficulties there but hoping that it will subside here shortly so I'll uh, just be praying for her and thinking for her but that was nice to hear back from her and that she said the cards turned out well so if you guys want to get a card definitely make sure you write to Miss Wilma Briggs and finally picked up a really nice purchase I pre-ordered it on Barnes & Noble I bought uh, Tim Tebow's book Mission Impossible and to finally say I have a legitimate Tim Tebow autograph I bought the autograph version so there we go I have a card that I bought on eBay and has not passed authentication so um, for the price that I paid for that card I got this book so about $25 so I thought that was pretty cool I think it was cheaper when you pre-ordered it maybe I'm not sure it might be a, more now but yeah so I'm pretty excited I can read that I have like all his books so that's the first one that I have signed so that's really cool and now time to do a stack of TTMs we got some even coming I went to my parents house that are older as well as um, some coming back from the overseas so first one is coming back from Charlotte North Carolina we know this is most likely going to be a recent return because it was sent out in October that's when I was signing a bunch of those uh, Panini certified cards or Leaf certified racing cards and it's going to be Mr. Michael McDowell in 2016 and it's like a refractor version rainbow foil or something I don't know what they're called so that's pretty cool Michael McDowell nice one guys there next up we have another Charlotte North Carolina this one's a little bit more recent this was sent out in February so last month could be a junk wax return these colored envelopes Oh, nice. It's going to be actress. Um, um, I guess she's she's in Riverdale, but I've seen her in some other things before. This is Miss Lily Reinhardt. So pretty cool. Uh, I think uh, one of these is going to Bruce, so he'll be happy to get one of these. So that's very cool. Miss Lily Reinhardt. Next up, this one kind of feels empty. <laughs> um, Hartford, Connecticut. I sent it out in March, so this month it's almost April. I, know, I guess it's just one photo. Ah, nice. So I was watching uh, the movie Rookie of the Year, and uh, I just I was like, I wonder if some of these actors and actresses signed. So I found a shot from the movie and got Mr. Bruce Altman who signed. So hopefully we'll see some of those come back. So that'd be pretty fun. So. Very nice, Bruce Altman. Next up is coming back from North Texas, Dallas, Texas. This was sent out in January. Hey, it's for the Junk Wax Challenge. So, I got, I've, got, I've got two points so far. I got Mr. Mike Muniz on the 1990 score rookie card with the Dodgers. So, two points for me. This one's coming from the UK. Uh, here's Mr. Duke in the background there. This was sent out in February. Oh, hairball. Silly guy. Uh, looks like there's a note. We'll read the note, make sure it's good. This is from, this is going to be for autographs for Cure as well. This is, I sent three photos. I couldn't decide between them. This is Mr. Michael Kitchen. I think I sent through um, uh, one of their typical uh, talent agencies. That usually, um, she's do. He's always licking himself and gets his hairballs. <laughs> Sorry about that. No Duke. That's gross. No. What? You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? Let me let all the There you go. There you go. Go get some water. Oh, there 
go. Uh, I can be close to the door now in the new house. <laughs> uh, anyways, where were we? Uh, Greensboro, North Carolina. This was sent out last month in February. And it's a racing return. Racing legend. Mr. Rex White, I believe he's in the Racing Hall of Fame. And he's up there in his 90s. Um, I don't think I found anything of him serving, or maybe I forgot the look. I can't remember. But I think he's about 91, 92 years old. That's a nice one. Next up, let's come back from Cleveland, Ohio. This was sent out back in February as well. And it's going to be an Olympic return. Um, this is Miss Jenny Fish, Olympic speed skater from the 1968 Winter Olympics in France. So she signed in silver. Very cool. Um, we'll save this one for last. This, or, no, see. This is the one I looked to my parents, it's old, we'll save that one for last. This one has come back from the UK. It's from 721, so it looks like one that I, I didn't include that stamp, I don't think, so, um, they pro I probably included some cash, maybe, to pay for it, and they just stuck down on it. Typically, when you send in the UK, it just takes, like, a couple stamps on there, it's good. But I did come back for just one. Uh, this was for the uh, Battle of the Decades contest, that didn't last. Um, I'm just sorry for the lateness. I blame COVID. <laughs> um, so this is Mr. Garrick Hagen, who was a fighter pilot for the uh, Resistance in one of the early uh, Star Wars movies. Signed in gold. So very cool. So here's here's the note. Some of the gold rubbed off there. That's all right. Uh, next up, this is from Santa Clarita, California. This was sent out back in December of last year. A little bit older. It's going to be a, uh, if I can speak, it's going to be a music return. So this one's going to be for August for a cure as well. This is Mr. Creed Bratton. And he also was uh, in the office in a few episodes and he would. Uh, sing so uh, thought that'd be an interesting one there to go for Mike and then he'd sign one for me so very cool and finally the one that's a mystery and we don't know where it's coming back from it's got the old address on it it's almost three years old so it could be anybody and I better hurry up because Duke is going crazy out there Probably hear him still. Oh, nice. Um, I don't think I've, I don't think I've tried sending to her. I just uh, never got anything back. This is Miss Dana Delaney. Signed one. And here's one from Mash. And this one. Nice, Miss Dana Delaney. Very cool. So that is my mail weeks uh, recap for you. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's kind of a long video. I uh, hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. Uh, I've been watching a few videos. You might see my comments. Uh, I'm going to be getting the contest winnings out here throughout the week. So be on the lookout for those. And uh, just thanks again for all the support. And I'll see you guys all later. Bye.